In this video, we are reviewing the tea cake and toilet facilities at Little Devil's Cafe here in Aberystwyth. Before we dig into it, I must declare I am actually friends with the person who runs <laughs> Little Devil. So hello, Louisa, if you're watching. But uh, I've been meaning to do at least a small review. And this is yeah, a Yeah, well, small I saw review. your chicken burger the other day. And yeah, I had a should. delicious chicken burger the mm. other day. Uh, today, we just had tea and cake. So it's not the because most comprehensive. Been on a rather fruitless Yes, shoot of tea it's not the most comprehensive review of their um, extensive menu, unfortunately. But uh, I had a vegan uh, lemon and strawberry cake, which was magnificent. And I had a salted caramel brownie and I had a rhubus to drink. Oh, yes, I had conventional tea. <laughs> and uh, I, I've been going there for several years and the tea is always excellent. Well, loose, it's loose, loose leaf tea. Yeah, loose leaf yeah, tea. Yeah, it's very good. Really, really good. However, slightly concerned, I got a triangle in the bottom of my cup again. Oh, no. Does that mean you've got no wisdom? Yeah, apparently so. Oh, well. <laughs> there you go. They're just confirming what we already knew. But obviously, I've still not got any taste and uh, smell oh, slightly from COVID. the COVID. Yeah. Um, but just to reiterate, just to clarify that that was weeks ago, and I still don't have a taste of, sense of taste. It's coming smell. back. Slowly. Yeah. Um, it was very smooth brownie. It had a really good texture. The little crispy on the top, soft in the middle that you would anticipate. Kind of what you want. Yeah, the Ruby Boss was lovely. Loose leaf tea, you can't really go wrong. Mm. I mean, nice. I, I'm hardly a connoisseur of vegan cake. And uh, it, it's a little, it's not quite the consistency you expect. But Oh, I think it is. Yeah, I had a little mouthful of yours and I thought it's pretty spot on. Mm, it, it, it's just. I think you just hear the word vegan. Is, is that the problem? I think so. I mean, it was absolutely delicious, don't get me wrong. But not quite the same frothy, spongy as... Um, a non-vegan cake, perhaps. I thought it was lovely. You're, you're feeling... I wouldn't say no to another slice. Let's put it that way. <laughs> the filling was lovely and smooth. Mm -hmm. And the sponge was light and, and yet moist, which is what you want. You don't want it to be light mm. but dry. That's not pleasant. Um, the menu is pretty comprehensive there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Really yeah, it's good a, breakfast It's a student favourite as well. Yeah, well, so I, I would anticipate that. tend to be a lot of calories to the pound. Yeah, I would, I, I would anticipate that because it's got things like chicken and waffles. But also seitan and waffles so you could have um a vegan option for chicken and waffles mm. um pancakes with all various toppings they do uh specialist milkshakes as well all of row roche yeah. that kind yeah. of stuff i think i've had smoothies there before as well which mm. are very good and not, your not, chicken not burger. those sort of pre-prepared smoothies proper fruit smoothie and breakfasts really good breakfast all there is a free range uh the locally sourced i think the milk yeah, is locally meat, sourced meats locally well. sourced too um so it's very good in the breakfasts um, look very good. We'll have to go back and, and try some more things. Yeah, and I'm sure we'll Toilet will. facilities. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so the toilet is actually outside, um, just across a little courtyard. A proper tea bar, yeah, as they call them Yeah, but it's not here. what you would anticipate of like an outdoor privy. It's very clean and very fresh um, and all your soap and toilet mm -hmm. roll, etc. were present. So, yeah, it was, a, it was a, a good toilet experience. A good toilet experience, yes. 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 So there we go. So we're slightly off the road here. I know we're trying to do ones that are along like the A4. Yeah, we've parked or in the whatever. car park near Lidl and the but, bus station. <laughs> yes, but this is just, just off the road. If you come into Aberystwyth, what's the road called? Is one? Uh, it's a 487. No, you know that. Road. What? Not the Aberystwyth. I, I can't remember Devils. what that road's called. We will put a little thing. I'll do a Sarah and Tune yeah. thing. It, it is actually on the 487, <laughs> I think. Or is it 487? I get confused because they moved the 487 so it went down High Street at one point oh, and then crikey. it didn't. Really? Yeah. Well. It's in Aberystwyth. It's in Aberystwyth. We will put a little a little ping so you can see exactly yeah, where I, it is. I would say it's conveniently close to both the bus and train station mm -hmm. so not just a car stop. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You could you could stop in any which way you're travelling. But also the service um, was good. They were friendly. They were polite. Mm-hmm. Um, just clarifying checking back all that kind of stuff so that was good as well yeah so um thank you little devils for yes. your tasty treats uh we better get home now yes not going to yeah. uh, certain golden arches indeed <laughs> don't tell the hublet yeah. we were near a mcdonald's we're in Aberystwyth. don't tell them yeah right <laughs> we shall head off thank you for watching and we'll see you bye. in another grub nut <laughs> bye <laughs>